Counted wondrous stories of his exploits far and near. And now an Irish song, said Kelly, best of order one and all. And Moriarty sang for them the homes of Donegal. They cheered him when he'd finished, and they called on call and call. But Moriarty said, Now lads, I can't, I can't sing any more. He stood there sad and silent, gazing down into his beer. And in the corner of his eye there glistened the beginnings of a tear. Are you going home for Christmas? The friendly barmaid said. Moriarty fixed his gaze on her and slowly shook his head. Sure, I haven't been to Ireland now in 20 years or more. My mother wouldn't know me if I walked in through her door. I was born, said Moriarty, on an island in the west. The last place God created, but the first place that he blessed. We were poor, but we were happy in our simple little way. God, I wish I were a boy again, playing there today. And my father, God be good to him, was drowned one terrible night. And my mother left so lonesome and me to work and fight. So with Jim Joe McCarthy and young Don Rio O'Shea, we took the boat to England to earn a decent pay. And I promised my mother that I'd soon be back again. But the curse of drink came over me and enslaved me in its chains. And I haven't seen my mother now, it's 20 years or more. She's still beyond there waiting for my footsteps at the door. Then someone started singing, See Amid the Winter Snow. It was like an old bell ringing far away and long ago. And as Moriarty listened, he pushed his glass away and made a solemn promise that he'd be home for Christmas Day. He gathered up every penny that he could get into his hands and coming up to Christmas, he sailed for Ireland. His heart was singing softly and he seemed content and blessed as the train rolled through the Midlands and brought him to the west. In the village of Kilsheila, that night upon the shore, Moriarty gazed across the waters dark at his island home once more. The stars were shining brightly, but the brightest in that dome seemed to hang above the island, calling Moriarty home. It is a fine night for the crossing, said the boatman Thomas Bond. Moriarty didn't know him. Sure, it was a lifetime he'd been gone. And as they climbed into the bodging, the boatman heard him say, Glory, glory God of heaven, I'll be home for Christmas Day. In a lodging house in London, Moriarty's poor boat in the hallway, on the table, a message lay unread. The message said, Dear Danny, this morning your poor mother passed away, and she'll be buried in Kilsheila after a mass 
on Christmas Day. Thank you.
let's have a cup of tea. And then um, we'll move it. Thanks again, Chip. Thanks again, Chip. Thanks again, Chip. Thanks again, Chip.